Hey guys, OG Albini here, and in week one of the LTM, we are taking on Jacob as always, an OG in the draft league scene. In fact, in the first league I ever uploaded, NCP Season 1, Jacob was the person who knocked us out of playoffs and semifinals. We beat him in WPG recently, but I would love to take him down in a singles league, but that will be no easy task. If you guys do enjoy week one of the LTM and are excited for the upcoming season, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's easy, free, and it really helps me reach my end of the year goal of 5,000. Also, the first person to guess our team's nickname theme gets their comment pinned. Go ahead and check out Jacob and all the other LTM coaches in the description below as well. And there'll also be a timestamp down there if you'd like to skip ahead past the builder and go straight to the battle. With that being said, let's jump into it. Our team, if you did forget, consists of Kuja Hisui, Tauros Paldea Aqua, Tornadus Incarnate, Deancey, Serena, Terra Delphox, Piloswine, Slowbro Galar, Spirit Tomb, Electros, and Chansey. While Jacob's team consists of Suicune, Cyclozar, Claude Zire, Sylveon, Embor, Terion Mega, Registeel, Decidui, Espeon, Golem Lola, and Shiftry. Jacob has a ton of big threats. His first overall pick in Suicune commands crazy respect, and it is so easy to see it snowball. That fat balance core of Claude Zire, Sylveon, and Registeel on top of Suicune is really hard for any team to break. Terrion Mega might be the strongest Terra Captain we allow in this league, and it can go a ton of different routes here. Terra Ground, Steel, and Buck are all very strong. And finally, Embor. Embor is terrifying. Despite its mediocre speed tier, it has the capabilities to Oko or at least two at KO our entire team. We definitely have our work cut out for us, but let's jump right into the builder. Terrion Mega requires immediate attention, so first up we'll go with an AV Hisui and Gudra. This week we're rocking out with the moveset of Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Knock Off, and Dragon Tail. D Pulse and Flash Cannon hit just about everything besides Registeel, and I didn't really feel like I'd click Flamethrower in this matchup anyways. I'd much rather catch that thing on a switch in with a Knock Off and remove its leftovers. Same with mods like Clodsire that pretty much stuff us otherwise. Dragon Tails to help phase around Pokemon that don't appreciate Gudra, punish switches, and prevent non-sub Suicune and Iron Defense Registeel from setting up on us. EVs wise, we have speed for 12 speed Embor, we are not 3 hit KO'd by any super effective Terra Blast from Yon Mega, and then we have the rest in our special attack. Next up is Wincon and newly appointed Roaring Moon team captain, Delphox. This week we're rocking Terra Electric with Psyshock, Terra Blast, Calm Mind, and Encore. Delphox has a great speed tier as an incredibly threatening Pokemon. Psychic Electric hits everything neutrally or super effectively, and once we get some Calm Minds up, we become immensely threatening. We also have some great utility on the set. Encore helps us find great setup opportunities, locking slower threats into moves they don't really want to be locked into. In particular, this helps a lot with Suicune. If Suicune ever rests or Calm Minds, we can Encore and essentially stun lock it, allowing ourselves to either get a free attack or setup opportunity. We have Leftovers as our item for passive recovery and Magician as our ability because we have no fire move and just because it lets us steal an item before knocked off. EVs wise, we have no speed for Yon Mega, we can 2 it Kyo, Fizz Def, Claws there with Psy Shock, and then we have the rest dumped into HP. Third, we have Big Paldea Tauros Aqua. This is our much needed Embor switch in. With a Rocky Helmet and Intimidate, we have a way of pivoting into Embor and threatening a KO or making a switch. It's also very good offensively here. Our dual stabs are great, really not having many switch ins. We have Earthquake in slot 3 for Water Absorb Claws there, and Lash Out as our fourth option to clean 2 it Kyo Decidueye. EVs wise, we take two Embor CCs at minus one, have the speed for Yan Mega, and then dump the rest into our attack. Second half of the team is started off by none other than Big Pilo Swine. Pilo here is going to be super important. I cannot stress the importance of Stealth Rocks enough here. And thankfully, our Rocker and Pilo Swine smokes his removal in Cyclozar, and two Akios a random Espeon switch in. On top of that, Pilo's tool subs are great. Really, his whole team outside of Tweekun gets to it KO'd. If we can use Pilo to chip and pepper down that Suicune, that's incredible for the rest of the squad. EVs wise, we have enough HP to live a CC from Embor before rocks, outspeed no speed Sylveon and pretty much any Registeel variant, and then put the rest in our attack with an Adam of Nature. Fifth, we have our Suicune check and pivot in Electros. Our second assault this user may have Thunder Punch, U Turn, Stomping Tantrum, and Knock Off. Full physical into a Scalding Suicune seems risky, I know, but I felt like it was much better into Suicune and other threats like Claude's Ire as well. Realistically, this guy's job is to pivot into Suicune and maybe take a Yon Mega hit. You turn around and be a really strong pivot. EVs wise, we once again have speed for no speed Sylveon. We 2 it KOs for death Claude's Ire with Stomping Tantrum and then have the rest in HP. 
Lastly, we have another possible win condition in Tornadus Incarnate. Torn's offensive matchup is insane here. Bleak Wind Storm hits everything not named Registeel so hard. And we have Heatwave for that guy. Nasty Plot will allow us to boost up our special attack and sweep, and Taunt really helps with a ton of his answers to this. In particular, Clodsire and Registeel, and to a lesser extent, Sylveon. EVs are going to speed 4 Espeon, max special attack, then that leftover 8 in HP. That is going to be our team for week number one of the LTM. If you guys are excited, again, be sure to drop a like. Um, I really appreciate it a ton. And with that being said, we can go ahead and jump right on into the battle. Alrighty, guys, here we are with the battle. We are connected with Jacob. Week one of LTM. I am definitely very, very excited in this one. Um, now, we can see that he brought Yan Mega, he brought Decidueye, Registeel, Embor. He brought Suicune, and then he brought Last Mon Cyclozar in that slot. What I low key want to do is I think I still do just want to lead off with Big Piloswine. Um, it doesn't switch into much in this game outside of Cycle, uh, and I really want to get up my game my rocks early. Um, I really, really, really want to get up my rocks early, especially because I know he is Terra Bug Yan Mega. Um, you know, obviously we're Terra Electric on our Delphox. It's kind of scary whether or not he's going to be a Specs variant. If he's Specs, we do live Choice Specs Terra Bug into our uh, Pilot Swine slot, so that's good to know, but I really, 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 really want to get up rocks for that thing. I'm very surprised it's not Terra Ground. That really tips me off that he's probably Tinted Lens Terra Bug, though. Demo! Cool, we take it. Um, this guy doesn't really check us super well, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and get up a rocks. If you want to stay in and, like, knock for some reason we'll be in an okay spot he's just gonna u-turn out so cyclozar is gonna get on out of here we probably see a suicune and it really makes me regret not going knock off um would love knocking that thing off but oh well he also might not want to go into it just because of the fact that we could hit him with a big knock Ooh, he does he does he does okay it's fine we still do what we need to do in this instance um we get up our rocks we can go ahead and pivot out into eel um, and go from there. So, let's go ahead, get out to eel. Obviously, we're risking a little bit of a burn, but we'll still break subs otherwise. Um, I am very surprised you risked the knock, but it's all good. So, we saw Cycle. Kind of forgot to write down the team, so we're going to do that now. Sweet could. No burn. Oh, the first turn, baby! And we love to see it! Um, and I'm just going to U-turn. Uh, he doesn't really know what I am. I kind of wish I was special now. Um, he's going to withdraw. We're going to maintain a little bit of momentum. We know he also has a Registeel. How come Cyclos are? All good with me, baby. All good with me. So, we're going to go ahead and get this U-turn. And now from here... What's our positioning that we really want to go for? I'm thinking it's probably Bull, right? Because Bull is going to force the most progress humanly possible into this team. Close combat kills this guy. Um, I can also hit the Suicune with a big, big close combat. Um, actually, in fact, I don't think he really wants to go Suicune. I think he's much more likely to make that pivot out into Deki Dewey. Um, so because of that, I'm actually going to just click a Lash out. Yeah, we're going to click Lash out. I think we're going to see a U-turn here or a hard switch out. Scouting for Scarf. Um, we'll go from there. Decidueye. This thing doesn't really do much to me, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. He's going to withdraw. If Suicune comes out, that's fine. We get a little bit of chip off on it, but I really think Decidueye comes out. Shredder. Is that really Suicune? Not what I expected to come out. So you're gonna see pressure pop, obviously. We do nothing. Uh, we don't see leftovers. Very, very interesting. Um, that tells me you're probably not sub. You're probably some rest shit, or you're like AV for some reason, right? So I'm gonna consistently make this play out into my eel, and just you turn around forever. And just you turn around forever. So what are we going to see? We're going to get under eel as the ground breaks. Shout out to Scarlet and Violet. Um, small indie company. Extra sensor. You're some, you're some AV or some scarf shit. You're some AV or some scarf shit. Scarf Suicune? 
Maybe. I don't know. Um, but you're definitely some weird shit. I'm going to continuously U-turn, right? Because I really don't want to let this Cyclozar in spin. Um, that's worst case for me. So we're going to continue to pivot out. We need to make sure we know whether or not this is going to be a Scarf variant. So if we see him switch moves, we see him switch moves. He clicked Extra Sensory, though. So that, like, really, really tits me off that you might be some funny shit, you know? <laughs> that really, really tits me off. You might be some wonky shit. Um, what's the last guy we have? Oh, Embor. Not Embargo. The move. Embor. There we go. Uh, we're just going to continue with the U-turn. These rocks are really, really, really pushing some great progress right now. Yeah, come cycles are. That's fine. And that Suicune isn't leftover, so I low-key feel comfortable. Do I need to make a close combat play? Or do I need to make the last shot play again? Because, like, I took you the shit out of that decision to I coming in. Like, I smoke that thing. Um, he really didn't switch into this well. And if I close combat on that Suicune... I feel like I'm comfortable just lashing out, right? Because I have to scout for Scarf anyways. He's shown some wonky set. I, I need to make sure he's not some weird Scarf so he can set. I'm gonna lash out again. Um, if he spins, he takes Helmet. I still punish this. I'm at full on my Piloswine. I can just go ahead and get up my rocks again, you know? Um, put myself in a good spot, so. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We'll see, though. Uh, my Suicune looks pretty darn incredible in this game. Or, not my Suicune. My, um... My Delphox looks pretty darn incredible in this game. Like, pretty darn incredible in this game. Um... We'll see how it goes, but I really, really like the Terra Electric Calm Mindset that we have this week. He's gonna withdraw. Is he gonna go Decidueye this time? I'm catching it. Going to Decidueye. Did my damage. It's not Decidueye. He really keeps going into this thing. It's pissing me off. Okay. Just gonna lash out again. I really want to catch that thing, man. I mean, this thing's low. This thing dies to CC next time. So I'm gonna make the lash out play again next time. <laughs> We're just gonna keep using Electros as his pivot, right? There's no reason to take Chip on our Gujra for no reason. Um, Eel is burned, and he's kind of his job is just U turn in and out. Um, he's just shown extra sensory and scald. Rest calm mind. He is a rest variant. Very interesting. And you rest talk. You rest a chest, though. So we, we know you're not choice now, right? Choice scarf rest. I find that offensive. Yeah, he goes Chesto. Uh, so last move, Calm Mind. This thing gets smoked by Gudra. I also have not showed if I'm special or not, so I'm just going to keep you turning. Um, and now I know that when I get to the point where I can 2-8 kill this thing, I can just click Close Combat. So we're just going to get this U-turn. And low-key, what I can do is I can just go into my Delphox and click Terra Blast, right? Get my Terra off immediately, just click a button. Yeah, I think so. We're running out of Lash Outs, actually. Maybe I can't make that Lash Out play. I'm kind of forgetting about pressure. Um, start close combat in a little bit more. But yeah, I'm just going to Terra. I'm just going to Terra Blast. No reason not to. Uh, we know he's not like some AV Miracoat shit, right? I mean, he could be Miracoat last slot, but that's a super weird set, man. <laughs> uh, he's probably Calm Mind that last slot if I had to guess, you know? He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna do a chunk of something. Um, it's gonna Terra Blast. I mean, this Cyclozar comes in, but I feel like it's fine. I want to see how much AV takes from this attack, so I know what to expect. Um, it does about 20% of his AV, like a bulkier AV set, 20-ish percent. He's AV. Super duper AV. Um, is it a pilo angle? I think it might be a pilo angle, right? Because I could just get a Brox in this thing's mouth if he decides to spin. If not, I'm just earthquaking. If he knocks me, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're good. It's gonna spin. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. Let's get these up again. Rocks are super important for that Yamega in the back. 
And if he's boots, he's just not half as strong. So I'm not super worried about boots. Um, but I really want these boot these rocks up. He's gonna rapid spin. He's gonna U-turn, and probably go on to Suicune. Yeah. He's just switching to Pile Swine other than Suicune too. So there's something else to keep in mind. Like he really, really struggles with it. Okay. Tom, Ember. Ooh, we have a hard Yon Mega. Um, what I think this might be is it might be a sack of, uh, what do you call it at this point? Um, I think it might be an Eel Sack. Yeah. I like the Eel Sack. Um, let's see if 113 tells me anything. 113, Yon Mega, Bug, Bug, Buzz. It doesn't really tell me much. He's gonna tear here. This is just gonna kill me, I think. Yeah, I don't think this really tells me anything. Unfortunate, it doesn't, but we knocked that thing out, which is good. And I feel like what I can do now is, uh, let's see, Tinsel Lens into Gudra. Um, yeah, I could just go Gudra and I can knock pretty darn freely, actually. I can knock pretty darn freely. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock. Knocks off Reggie Shield's item. Makes him pretty bad. Um, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. If Cycle comes out, how do we... How much damage do we do to Cycles are? He's AV. I don't kill with Dragon Pulse, which is the tough part. Um, not super worried about that. He's going to withdraw. I get a knock off onto something, which is great. Danny. He's a phantom. Okay. Um, which is great. There's no more lefties. is phenomenal. Big crit. Yeah, no lefties. That's phenomenal for me. Um, and I think I am actually just going to go ahead and make the play out into um, Delphox. Uh, this is really, really going to allow me to break through. <sighs> no, that's fine. I'm not super worried about rocks. I feel like rocks are more detrimental to him. Um, and what I can do is I think I can just call mind, right? He can't Terra Blast, or he can't, what do you call it, me? Um, he can't Thunder Wave me. I'm just gonna call Mind. He doesn't really know what my moveset is. He doesn't know they don't have a Fire move. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. Cycle. I don't really need my item, and I can also Magician something, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and side shock. It can kill some variants. He's just gonna spin. It does a lot, but. Just gonna side shock. Kill some sets. And I get some leftovers. Um, and then from here. Just gonna go ahead and terror blast. Don't steal the AV. Don't steal the AV, actually. Cool. So we knock out Cyclozar. Which means when we get up our rocks, we get them up. Which is good. Now it's a matter of getting them up. Um, which is probably in the face of Reggie Steel. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, <laughs> we're plus one, plus one. It's all this. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Pig Mike. Shoutouts to Pig Mike. Um, we're just gonna make our play out to Tauros. I feel pretty comfortable doing so. Getting into him off. In Tim. 
He's gonna take some damage. That's nothing. Uh, he's gonna take some helmet, which is nice. Uh, that's definitely not banded, by the way. So that's really nice. I'm just gonna CC here. I guess he can make some psycho play into the situation right now. It's really gonna annoy me when he does, but I can't keep burning these lash out PPs, you know? Gonna withdraw pig mic. See you, pig mic. Why, old mic? Why, old mic? Why, old mic? Uh, he's not gonna take rocks, it's a little unfortunate, but. That's life. Uh, Spinef's gonna fall. I mean, I really don't have another play other than going out into gooey gooey gooja. Um. And I really want my rocks. <laughs> I really want my rocks right now. I really want my rocks right now. We'll see. Running out of Gudra. Not super worried about a burn. He's gonna make a double. Double in two. Tom! Let's go, baby. Um, I'm just gonna drop a Dragon Pulse, yeah? I'm not really worried about anything this thing wants to go for. He's gonna U turn. Tinted Lens! Ooh, ouch! I don't like that. I need my rocks. <laughs> I need my rocks. Please. Uh, and I can't make the double there, right? Or I'm boned. So Danny comes out. I'm gonna make this play out into it. I think this is my opportunity to get it up, you know? I feel like this is my opportunity to get him up. I really like it's my opportunity. Another thing to mention too is my torn super win soon. No way you body pressed. Ooh, I need to win a tie. Come on. Okay, we got off our rocks, which is big. We got off our rocks, which is big. Um, he's gonna take us out. But my rocks have to stay. Good thing? Maybe. The only issue... Is I don't really kill... With Tauros. Is it my play to go into Tauros now? Because I kind of need that thing healthy, right? Or is it my play to go into Delphox? Bluff a fire move. I think I just got a man. Like, I, I don't really have anything that threatens this thing with an Oko, which is really, really scary. Uh, we're AV, so we just got a Terra Blast. You can't call mind. We can't do much. I mean, he's not EQ, right? Like, there's no reason to be EQ. Um, so I think if he's physically defensive, there is a chance for you to hit KO from here. Um, or we probably do, actually. Yeah, if he's physically defensive, we pretty much do a KO from here. Um, if he's specially defensive, not so much. He's gonna withdraw. I love a Terra Blast into Shuicune. Oh, sick. He's scouting for a fire move. I look like a demon right now, man. I look like I'm him. And I might be. Uh, we're just gonna Terra Blast... So we knock out the sweet kid. That's great. Um, that's great, actually. Okay, we'll take those. And again, keep in mind, rocks are up, and that's huge. Uh, Ray still can't really switch in or anything. This screams Scarf, but I don't know if there's anything I could particularly do about it. You know? I don't really have a fighting pivot. I feel like this is my Pokemon to let go down and scout and see if he is indeed Scarf. He should be, though. I don't see a universe in which he is not Scarf. Yeah, he's gonna CC there. 
unfortunate, but you know, like, what, what can you do about it? Um... What can you do about it? I think we're just gonna go into Tauros again. Tauros, Pelty, Aqua. Let's see, with an Intim up. Can we afford to make an aggressive play again? Into... Deki, or into... Embor. I don't know if I can, man. I mean, I can always Raging Bull for free, right? I should've, I should've lashed out, man. I should've lashed out. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, and then we just EQ here. EQ will kill if Raging Bull did that much, you know? So, I think we're fine. Okay, so down that goes. Rage Steel down. We have Cyclozar, so you can Rage Steel down. We have Yanmega, Embor, which is Scarf confirmed. Yanmega, which is probably Specs. And then we have Deki Dewey, who is probably coming out here. But again, I feel pretty comfortable just going into Guja and dropping a Dragon Pulse, right? I feel pretty comfortable going into Guja dropping a Dragon Pulse. We'll see, though. We will see. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay, Tom. Tom! Yo, are you Scarf? I mean... Are you Scarf? I guess this just, like, doesn't kill. Um, I think I gotta go Gudra. Ooh, do I get two Kyoto for rocks, man? I think I gotta go Gudra. <laughs> Not good, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Not good, especially if he's wild charge on that thing. Not good. Let's see. I mean, we'll see if this is specs damage. Um, it's looking like it is. Um... I mean, I always knock off, right? In case I live, I always knock off. I, looking like specs, though. Like, 103, that's gotta be specs. I'm like max spadef, man. Um, he'll be a roll in range of Raging Bull next time he comes in, which is good. Um, I just bleak wind, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna bleak one. You're gonna hit. This goes down. Okay, cool. Um, my next question, though... Is do I live on Torn? Embor. I don't think I do. I think I lose Embor. I just think I lose Embor. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. Pig Mike. Um, because there's no universe, unless there's a universe where my Tauros creating a Decidueye. Um, Tauros crit on Decidueye if it's offensive kills, so that's what I need to go for. That's what I need to go for. Yeah, I just gotta go for a crit on Decidueye. Otherwise, we're gonna lose. Um, I think we lose regardless, though. I just didn't have enough sacks. That's on me. I, I probably didn't play that one as tight as it could. That's on me. Man, losing week one is fucking embarrassing. I hate losing week one. Um, um we gotta hope we live this, too. That's another thing. <laughs> um, I mean, I can just... 
Like Raging Bull. There's no reason not to. Do we live this? I mean, he also has to not be sneak. Yeah, this is wraps. He has to also not be sneak. So we're gonna lose 1 0. No sneak and offensive is a lot to ask, unfortunately. Um, I guarantee kill if I crit. <laughs> offensive and no sneak. So, I mean, we're gonna lose week one, but what can you do, you know? That's life. He's not boots. Okay. Big lash out. I mean, him never. Yeah, he's gonna sneak. Oh, I'm frustrated I lost to Jacob. Fuck, man. <laughs> I didn't want to lose this one. That's really frustrating. Losing week one is very, very frustrating. I feel like I should always win this game, but that's on me. Uh, I got my ass beat. I, I just didn't position well. Didn't have enough sacks, and we lost the game. Um, GG, Jacob. Definitely go check him out. See you guys next time. Later.